was good. Hello friends. As you guys can see for the title today, we're doing a get ready with me for the thanks of the giving. I figured I, I have a little surprise at the end of this video. So I wanted to sit down, chit chat with you, have a little chit chat about Thanksgiving, how it came about in my life. What are my preferences? And I would love to know what you guys do for your Thanksgiving. So I thought I'd share with you guys some new things that I did get in PR and with a little surprise at the end. So I would highly recommend to stay to the end of this video. I promise you I'll make it as entertaining as possible so you're not dragging. <laughs> I try to at least every time. But if you're interested to see what look I come up with, stay tuned. Okay, you guys, as I've always said in any of my get ready with me's, anything I use will be down in the description box. Anything that I received in PR in this video, I was not forced, I was not paid, I was not told that I had to do this. This is just coming out of the kindness of my heart because I'm very appreciative of any PR that I do get and I do love to share it with you guys because you might find something either to give to someone, especially this time of year or for yourself, you never know. So. I just wanted to put that out there so you guys are fully aware if you are new, if you've been around, you know the drill. I will absolutely tell you guys if and when I ever do a sponsored video, which has never happened. I will not say never, but as far as right now, it is not happening. Look, it broke. Okay, you guys. So first and foremost, I want to share with you guys, I got sent these from Hard Candy out. They gave me or they sent over to me two lip glosses. I think I'm going to use one of them as we're working because it's... It's one of those ones that uh, give you that plumping effect. So there's one that is a gentle one. It's a plumping without the pain, which I'm kind of leaning towards. And then they have this one, which is the plumping, the lasting plumping, which is like the hardcore kind. Ugh, I don't know which one to use. Plumping without the pain. Uh, so basically this is the same thing. Just the difference is that the one without the pain obviously doesn't hurt. <laughs> Should I, I think I'll do the one without the pain because my thing is, I don't tend to do plumping lip glosses because of the pain and not necessarily because I can't tolerate pain because boy, I have a very, very high tolerance for pain. Let me tell you, if I go down everything that has happened in my life that people cringe at that I've been able to tolerate that kind of pain, they're shocked. <laughs> um, but it's more so because anything that is plumping, what ends up happening is the inside of my lips rip up and they get raw and then it's completely red and irritated and it takes a while for my lips inside like this inner part to heal because it I mean it, it becomes raw so I don't use plumping stuff for that reason so I want to do I want to use this one the one without the pain to see if I can use it without it affecting my lips so this is supposed to be um, instantly volume and increase lip size while minimizing the appearance of the fine lines all without a tingle which I love um, it's infused with hyaluronic acid and fruit extracts and it delivers a refreshing burst of hydration. So if this does what it says, I am ecstatic, you guys. So it's not looking clear. Like this one actually looks clear. So let me take this one out. The one that hurts looks clear, but the other one does not. See, this one's clear, the, the painful one. And then obviously the one that is not painful is the one that's looking like this. So we're going to use this one because the painful one will be saved for after the holidays because I need my lips to eat. <laughs> so yeah, and it does say gentle on the bottom so then you know what you're buying. Okay, let's do this. Oh, it has like a minty smell to it. Okay, we're gonna put this on a little. Let, let's see the beauty of it, shall we? Okay, it doesn't taste minty. Like I don't feel that mintiness in my mouth like a mint. I have a bionic nose, so I smell like that cinnamoniness, but it's very toned down compared to other ones that I have smelled that have that cayenne pepper cinnamony stuff in them. This one is not so much, and I feel I feel like a cooling sensation starting, but not full on. So we're just gonna leave it on and continue. Okay, you guys. So like I said, anything that I use will be down in the description box. I wanted to show you guys what kind of look I am planning on doing for Thanksgiving. Um, my Thanksgiving plans this year literally changed last minute. Um, you're probably watching this video on a Wednesday, which means the Sunday. I was told you're on your own figure it out. So which 
I'm not upset about because I am well and able to cook for my family. It's just the way that it was presented and the way that it was told kind of bothered me because there's a lot of background. I don't want to, I don't want to go into too much detail because it's a family drama, but uh, I'm okay with it. I, the only sucky part was that this year I did not qualify for any turkey. I did not qualify for any free stuff because we have always done the same thing every year out of, um, you know, getting together as a family. So this year we had to, as, as I got the news on 2.30 on that Sunday, I was running around town with everyone else, which I do not like to do. I'm always proactive instead of reactive. So knowing that I only have three days to find everything, I managed to find a turkey, thank goodness. And I was able to get a size, just the size for us, us five. And then um, I had to get the potatoes. I had to, unfortunately, I didn't have time to do homemade stuffing. So I had to buy the box stuffing because there is no time. I won't have time. I needed the bread and you know, that kind of stuff. So I wasn't gonna stress about it. I am making homemade cornbread, which is good because I already have those ingredients. I feel like Mr. Man no longer likes to buy um, store-bought bread because he likes it homemade. So now like anything that has to do with bread, I'm always doing. And then the moments that we get stuck and I can't, I don't have time to have the bread rise and stuff, which I should refrigerate already pre-made dough that I make. So I should do that. And I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that. He gets kind of bummed because he doesn't, he's loving the bread that he gets at home, which is fine. Mashed potatoes. Did I say that? Mashed potatoes. Kids wanted mashed potatoes. And I'm like, and the main reason why I'm doing all of this is not necessarily for Mr. Man and I, it's more for like the kids and keeping tradition with the kids. If we didn't have kids, we'd be okay. We're like, oh, you know, we'll just cook a chicken dinner or whatever we want. Cause it's just us. But because it's, it involves the kids, I, I don't want them to be like, oh, that was the year we didn't get anything or we didn't plan for it, whatever, because other people's decisions and not realizing the domino effect um, of it. And, and it has nothing to do with the other person not. It, it was more of like a, I don't want to say a selfish decision because I don't know if that's the right word, but it's more of like, I don't know if I should say inconsiderate decision. I don't know. I don't know. It's just a lot. And I'm just, I don't like drama. I don't care for drama. So whatever. I am more than capable of doing it. Have I ever cooked a turkey before? Nope. I've never had to, but what way to learn? I've always been the type of person that I am good under pressure. I am good with um, being quick about things. Like I, if life throws me a curveball, I've never been the type to cower, cower at it and like say I can't do it and sit in a corner and cry and complain about it. Nope. I move on. I'm like, all right, what can I do to fix this? How can I move on? Where can I go to get my resources and so on and so forth? I've always been like that as a kid. And I don't know if that's like a survival technique that I've had to learn to do because of my upbringing, but it doesn't phase me. Like I was like, all right, I'm not going to sit here and cry and whine and complain and have somebody else take us in. I'll manage it on my own. So <laughs> any pointers you have, <laughs> To cook a turkey, let a woman know because this will be my first time. I do have faith in myself. I'm not saying that I can't do it. I'll just, you know, obviously it'll get better with time. But this, since this being my first time and I am only had three days to research what I needed to research, I couldn't really reach out to individuals that I would normally do to give me like pointers and tips. So I'm, I'm relying on the internet. <laughs> I am relying on the internet and that's all right. I'm sure it'll come out okay. And the kids won't remember it as like, you know, a time where we were just put aside, but more of like, oh, we got to do something. And I already told my oldest, she's gonna help me. My younger kids like to bake, so they'll help me bake our dessert, which will be fun. So that's, that's my Thanksgiving. But I wanted to also let you guys know that um, how, and why uh, I'm not an expert or knowledgeable of Thanksgiving. So as you guys know, or maybe you don't know, um, I am not, I am born here, but I am not Americanized. I am first generation. Uh, my family's from Central America, obviously. And uh, I am the first one 
actually one of the, the first grandchild of my grandmother that was born in the States. So I was raised in our culture and Thanksgiving isn't a thing in our country. This is more like in a, a United States kind of thing. And I think Canada, but Canada it celebrates it in October, I believe. So for us, this isn't a thing that we would celebrate. My parents did not grow up knowing this. So my mother, I can't blame her because she didn't know anything about this. It's like you're going to a country and knowing the new culture and things and... So she didn't know anything about this and little did she know the language at the time so she couldn't explain it. So we did not have a Thanksgiving. I think the first Thanksgiving um, that I had, I was about 11 or 12 years old. Yes, you guys. I was about 11 or 12 years old and that's when my mother met my stepfather. They got married when I was 13. So, um, but before that, obviously they dated. And we would go over, and I remember we would go over to his parents, which were my step-grandparents, obviously I call them my grandparents, um, and they would cook us the meal. And we had no idea, like obviously I'm 11, I'm kind of understanding it because I've been exposed to it in school, but I've never experienced one until I was about 11 or 12 years old. I think more like 11 and a half, almost 12, if I can remember, I may have already been 12. So, um, I remember seeing the turkey and the, and my stepdad's parents, like the, his mom, my step grandmother, she was one of the best cooks. Like, I mean, like she went all out, all out homemade pies of every kind. I mean, she had mincemeat pie. She had pumpkin pie. She did apple pie. She, I mean, like she went all out. She was not the type of, um, grandma that just did like one thing. I mean, like she went above and beyond just to make us feel like we're at home and stuff, which was very, very nice. One of the memories that I can appreciate from them, um, they're the ones that passed away last year. So anyway, so we didn't experience Thanksgiving. Me and my sisters did not experience like, Thanksgiving until like we were a little bit older. So we didn't develop or have our own per se um, traditions. So it was more like a holiday that we always knew we would go over to their house and have and have a dinner there and hang out with like my step cousins and my stepbrother and just chill, just chill, that's it. As I got older and obviously I met Mr. Man, <clears throat> we, Mr. Man was more Americanized than I was. Like I'm, I'm legit, he calls me fresh out of the boat. <laughs> I'm legit, like the way that I was raised, the, the things that we would eat and things, it was just not Americanized. Like I've mentioned this before, I didn't know how to make box mac and cheese until I was in college. Like. That wasn't a thing that we grew up with. Nothing in a box, nothing really in a can. Everything was always homemade. My grandmother was awesome at that. And I picked up a lot from her, which I can appreciate because our diet is decent nowadays. Like I can cook for my, my kids loved home cooked meals and I can cook them as like natural as I possibly can um, without affecting our bodies and stuff. Like obviously there's things that we do eat that is processed, but we try to limit it. But anyway, so this year will be my first year doing it on my own. <laughs> I am excited about it. Um, I don't, I'm not afraid because I obviously have been cooking for so long and my confidence in cooking has gotten a lot better. I understand things. I understand my kitchen. Cause it's obviously that's another thing. You gotta understand your kitchen if you don't know how your oven works, you're going to burn things or undercook things. So I, I'm better, a lot better at it. So I'm excited to, to get it, get the ball rolling, get the ball rolling with it. So anyway, so I have a few questions for you guys, cause I'm curious what you guys, my extended familia, what do you guys do for Thanksgiving? Um, here's a few things. Are you a turkey or ham fan for Thanksgiving? Now for me, I am a turkey fan solely because I think of ham during either Christmas or Easter. My oldest is upset because we're not going to have ham this year because obviously I'm not, I didn't buy a turkey and a ham. There's only five of us. How much food can I buy? And I told her, I'm like, there's other people that don't have any money to buy food in here. You want me to buy ham because you want one slice of ham? No, thank you, young lady. So I, um, I didn't buy ham. I only bought a turkey. So she's a little bit bummed. She's not getting her ham and mashed potatoes. <laughs> But uh, I told her we'll do it for, for Christmas. But anyway, so what are you? Are you a family that does both? Are you a family that does just turkey or just ham? For Thanksgiving specifically, we are gonna be a turkey fan because um, 
I did not have time to find a ham. And like I said, I'm not doing so much food just for five of us. I think we'll be fine doing it the way we're doing. All right, I did my my brows off camera because it just takes forever. So let's go back to the debate. Are you a mashed potato family or a yams or like sweet potato family? Um, The only one that likes yam or sweet potatoes in our family is Mr. Man. <laughs> so he's gonna get SOL this year <laughs> because we're doing mashed potato. The kids love mashed potatoes. So majority rules, that's how we rule in this family, majority rules. So if you want mashed potatoes, that's what you're gonna get, mashed potatoes. Uh, for the eyes, I'm gonna use this, but I also wanted to share with you guys real quick before I continue my debates, I ended up receiving this from Merit. This is an actual limited edition, winter 2023. It's called Le Gloss set. This is a holiday set that you can get this holiday season or um, for a gift. And it comes with some really nice things in here. So this is what the package looks like. Isn't this adorable? This is their glass skin that I am constantly raving about. I have a full size in my um, bathroom as we speak. I put it on today. I put it on literally every day. I'm not even exaggerating you guys when I say I put it on every day. This is perfect because the day after Thanksgiving, we will be going away on a mini vacation with for the kids. And this is what I'm going to be taking. So this is amazing. I love this because this is all travel size stuff. So that's their point of this whole entire set is to travel with it. And I love it. So this is their travel size glass skin. This is awesome. Absolutely love it. And it has all the stuff in the back. So whoever you give this to or you keep it, it's called the Great Skin. I call it the Glass Skin because it makes my skin look like glass. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. This is their vol volumizing mascara. This is a mini size of it. I have used it before in the past. It's a beautiful mascara. It does volumize your eyelashes. Now, obviously everyone's eyelashes are a little bit different, but it does volumize it. It's it's more of a mascara that you will see the volumization if you have more of a natural eye look versus a very dark and smoky look. It won't look as vavoom if you have a smoky look, but if you have a natural look, this is a beautiful mascara. It goes with the whole theme of it. Cause obviously, you know, Merit is known for their minimalist makeup. So that's where I see this mascara shine. I have used the full size. This is their um, volumizing fiber brow gel. Let me, let me make sure I got it right. Cause I want, yes, it's in the shade neutral to vol volumizing pomade. I have used this in the past. I've used it all the way up. I did like it, but I didn't love it. Not because the formula is bad or the product didn't work. I already have full brows, so I don't need a pomade. I don't need that extra because for me, it made my brows look extra thick, extra bold because I don't need it. But I think this is a really good one for those individuals that have sparse brows that just want something quick on the go. This is perfect. And it's in the neutral shade, which I think is beautiful. Then the two new things are these two. This is the first time they're ever coming out with this. And this is, I am so excited for it because I just dropped it. <laughs> this is their lip liner. They've never come out with a lip liner. And this is the first time they come out with it in one of these. This is their signature lip in B spoke. Ah, oh, and it's a retract retractable one. So I am actually excited. This is more of like a glossy formula. Look at this. I've never seen a lip liner that isn't matte. It's more of a glossy finish. So you could fill your lips in with it. And it's kind of like one of those glossy lip products. So I'm actually excited about that because I've never ever tried it. Signature lip sheer lip liner. So like I said, it's a sheer, you can see it there. Let me see, I have a lip liner over here. So let me just compare a traditional lip liner to what this one is. You could see right there, that's your traditional lip liner. And then this is the Merit one. It's supposed to be like a natural look on your lips. So we are gonna use that one today because I've never tried that one before. And they also came out with a new, cream shadow that I absolutely love. This is in the color glossy. This is the first time they're coming out with one with like shimmer, a satin finish, and it's not matte. So you could see it right there. It is, oh, this one's a, a bit drier than, than their other ones. It's not as creamy, I'm surprised. So this one isn't as creamy as the other ones that I've tried. But here it is right there. It actually looks really pretty like a highlighter. So we are gonna try to put that on. It didn't come on as creamy as I expected it because the mattes are, I mean, beautifully creamy. This one, I can't say it's the same. It feels very different and you can see that it's a little bit like gloopy. I don't know how to describe it. So maybe I need to warm up the product, but it definitely feels like it's been a little bit dried out. 
Yeah, mine looks like it's a little bit dried out. So we might have to do Duraline to it to try it out. But I'm gonna try it out today for you guys. So these two things we're gonna try out because I've already tried these three things. Um, this one I'm gonna take as a travel size for my little mini vacation. So we're gonna use it with the Pretty Grunge because I think that these shades will look really nice with this topped all over the lid. So anyway, let's go back to our fun debate of Thanksgiving. Cranberry sauce or stuffing? Which kind of person are you? Do you like cranberry sauce or do you like stuffing? The only person that likes cranberry sauce in my family is my son. And I think Mr. Man likes cranberry sauce. He likes both. Okay, Mr. Man likes anything, honestly. Um, it's very rare that you'll hear him not like something, but he'll like both. Me and my girls do not like cranberry sauce. Ah. Uh, I just don't like anything sweet. I don't think of sweetness for Thanksgiving if it's not a dessert. Do you see what I mean? Like, I just, I don't want anything sweet inside of my, like, I don't even like cranberries inside my stuffing. I just don't want to taste something sweet because I always think of Thanksgiving as like savory and juicy and warm and just melt in your mouth. And I don't think of sweetness when it comes to Thanksgiving. I don't know. If I'm thinking of something sweet on Thanksgiving, it has to be dessert. It can't be an actual like meal meal. I know that's that's a little bit odd. Don't come after me. Don't come after me, okay? So that's where we stand with that. So we won't be having cranberry sauce. We're gonna have stuffing. And unfortunately, I won't be making homemade stuffing just because of the time frame. I can only do so much knowing that I only have three days to get everything together. So that's the deal with that one. And the last one that I have is the infamous, are you a pumpkin pie fan or an apple pie fan? For me, I've never liked the texture of pumpkin. I can't stand the texture of pumpkin pie. To me, it's like I have a pure, like baby puree in my mouth. I don't like it. No one in my family, maybe with the exception of Mr. Man, likes pumpkin pie, so we are definitely doing an apple pie, apple pie all the way in our house. We do it for every holiday. You'll never, I've always said, I'm not a pumpkin anything. I think I tried one pumpkin cookie that I really liked, but other than that, I don't do pumpkin spice lattes. I don't do pumpkin coffee. I don't do pumpkin anything. Like we are just not pumpkin fans in this house at all. So I will, I will not be having anything pumpkin but decorations. <laughs> and the color around the house, but that's it. All right, so let's try this. I know, like I can definitely see in here, mine's dried out. I don't think it's supposed to be this way. Can you see that it's not attached to the edges? So I think mine was just already in this. I haven't had this set, like this whole thing in my possession for more than a few days. So I can't say that it was me that just put it somewhere. I'm trying to warm it up because it definitely doesn't feel like the other ones. And this is supposed to be a natural one. This, you can also put it over their matte versions, but I wanted to put it like this because on Thanksgiving, I'm not gonna have time to do an intricate, elaborate look solely because I'm not going to have the time since I will be cooking all day in the house. Oh no, it cracked. Yeah, mine's definitely like, it was sent this way. I'll just fix it with Duraline. Now that I'm rubbing it more, it's getting warmer and it's getting a little bit easier to use. So don't take mine as, um, like that's how you're gonna get it. Yours, if you do purchase this one, it might be a little, it's definitely gonna be a lot creamier. I think mine just was dried out already. But you can see it looks very, very natural. Oh, sorry. My bra, my little tank top are showing. It's like very, very natural. You guys are getting like legit Alex if you were sitting in my house. <laughs> Hot mess disheveled because of last minute situations. <laughs> Let me see. And then stuff that's dried out and you're trying to work with it. It ain't no production over here today. That's for sure. Okay, so I got more on there. Let's see if I can build this up to make it look prettier. Yeah, you could definitely build this up and it definitely looks a lot more vibrant and it doesn't look like it's bunched up. It's actually really pretty. It's actually, I like it. It's nice for like everyday, pretty natural. I'm digging it, okay. And you guys can see that I, I warmed it up pretty well, that it looks like I can get away with it. If I need to, I will put Duraline in it because it is pretty new. So let me put on my mascara and then we'll finish because I'm not using that mascara for a reason. So give me a minute. 
Hold your horses, I'll be right back. I took down my hair. My eyes I actually like, very natural to the point. I didn't put anything on my lower lash line because honestly you guys, this is what I'm planning on wearing for Thanksgiving. Like this isn't, this is a trial run for me. But the main reason why I don't put mascara on my lower lash line or anything on my lower lash line, especially on Thanksgiving now that I'm cooking is because my face is gonna be over a stove or inside an oven for almost the whole day cooking and baking. And if I put anything on my lower lash line, I'm pretty sure it'll melt and then it'll spot because the heat, it's just the heat. So I'm definitely gonna be doing my makeup like this on Thanksgiving where nothing's gonna be on my lower lash line. And I look put together, but I don't look overdone. And I love that. I absolutely love that. I love Merit's products for that reason. Cause you look put together, but you don't have a lot. And on Thanksgiving, that's definitely a day where I don't want to look, I don't, I don't, I'm not someone who doesn't have kids that has all that time in the world. So this is it for me. This is how I do every, almost all my holiday looks like this. So for the lips, we're gonna try this lip liner cause it is a sheer. I've never ever heard of a lip liner that is sheer. And I've mentioned this since the beginning of my, my channel. I am a lip liner fanatic. You guys are fully aware of it if you've been here for a long time. I always, I think it's very, very rare that you find me put on a lip product, like a lipstick or a liquid lipstick without a lip liner. I always have a lip liner. So this you guys know is like my kind of thing. And I've never heard of anything that's sheer like this. So I'm actually excited to try this out. But before we do the lip plumper, not once did I feel pain. Not once did I feel like it was ripping my lips apart. Do I feel like my lips look plumper? I think the lip gloss itself from the shine makes my lips look plump, but I don't feel like my lips actually plumped if that makes any sense. I'm okay with that. It's a lip plumping gloss, but it's more of a visual than it is a physical thing. And if you're into that, two thumbs up. Very comfortable. I've been speaking this whole entire time. I'm not getting that white line on my lips at all. Like this is a lip gloss I can see me use, taking it to work, putting it in my pocket, putting it in my, throwing it in my purse and using it all the time. And it's very moisturizing. I can feel the moisture on my lips. And as I've been talking to you guys, and you guys know I've been talking this whole entire time, I don't feel like my lips feel dry. You know how some lip glosses after a bit, your lips feel more dry than when you started? This doesn't feel like that. Hard candy, man. You are coming back with a vengeance because it is, I think I haven't tried something yet that I'm not a fan of so far. I love it. I will try the other one after the holidays because I want my lips to be okay <laughs> to eat. So because of the fact that we're gonna try this lip gloss thing uh, or this sheer lip liner, I don't want the lip gloss to affect it or ruin the effect. So I'm just gonna dab this off and let's put on this one. And it only comes in one shade and my understanding it's only coming in this kit. I don't know if they're gonna sell these um, in separate kits. So. All right, you guys, so I filled my lips in with it and you could tell that I do see a shade, like a color on my lips. It is, it reminds me of a less shiny lip gloss. It's one of those like sheer, uh, like those lip blots or those, uh, what do you call it? Those um, satin lip, sheer satin lip, products. That's what it feels like to me on my lips. It's not super moisturizing, but I do feel some sort of moisture on my lips and the color is subtle, but it is there. You could see the color on my lips. It's not a bad color at all. Um, but I feel like I would wear this with a lip product on it to moisturize it. This is something that I would use with like a liquid lipstick. You know how like sometimes you put a chapstick or some sort of moisturizing lip product under a liquid, at least I do, under a liquid lipstick so then the liquid lipstick doesn't like feel so on your lips. This is what I would use this lip liner for, is to put a liquid lipstick on top of it. So I do find use for it in my life, but I don't necessarily know if it'll be something where everyone would need it or would like it. It's not your traditional lip liner. You guys can see it's, I like it cause I always fill in my lips with any lip liner I use. Even if I put something on top, I always fill in my lip liner or uh, my lips with a lip liner. So I do like it. I'm not, I'm not upset about it. I'm not feeling like this is a gimmicky product. I'm curious to see how much these would sell for cause that's where it would make it or break it for me. And if other colors, so far there's only one shade and bespoke, but I do like it. 
I do like it. I don't think it's everyone's cup of tea. I really don't, but I am a fan of lip liner, so I see myself using it. All right, you guys, so this is my look. What do you guys think? I know my bra has been showing this whole entire time. You would think I would be more considerate and put on a, a bra that would actually not look through this, but this kind of sweater like falls off my shoulder and I just couldn't be bothered because I'm literally going to go clean a snack stand after this. But obviously I told you guys to stay till the end. I'm very excited because I wanted to do a giveaway for you guys. You guys are amazing, awesome. Because of you guys, I get to do, get a lot of things throughout the mail. Not a lot of things, but enough to make content for you guys. And you guys um, are finding new brands, new items, and you see them on my face, how they work, so on and so forth. So I've been putting a, a, a package together for you guys. And some things um, were sent in PR that I told you guys I was gonna save for you guys. And other things I went out and purchased because I loved them so much when I got them in PR that I wanted to gift them to you guys. So I have a little box here. Now, obviously it's not from Macy's, but I have a little box here. I At this moment while I am filming this video, I don't know if I'm gonna have you guys just leave a comment and I randomize something, or I'm gonna do one of those Google forms, you guys fill it out. So that way I don't have to, you know, go and fish out whoever won all your information will be there so then it just gets automatically shipped to you so i don't have to worry about it so i think that might be the way i do it check in the description box exactly how i'm going to do this giveaway please so then you know all the rules what it entails so that way you are not confused i will make it as clean and as black and white as possible so i have a little box here full of goodies for you guys yes so first and foremost i had told you guys that i was going to give this to you guys. So whoever wins will be getting this hard candy color correct primer. It's a nice size uh, uh, primer and it is brand new, never used. So you obviously everything is in here brand new. Alex, shut up. Come on, man. I have been a fan of these lip liners from hard candy. You guys know I'm a fan of lip liners and it is the holiday season. So I wanted to do this giveaway early enough for whoever wins this package to be able to use this stuff for the holidays. So I ended up picking up the red version of this lip liner. These lip liners are phenomenal. For the price, these are phenomenal. So you can wear this sheared out because it has a brush on the other end. You can wear it full on for the holiday seasons, for New Year. So I thought this would be a perfect lip liner to go along. And if you're gonna have a red lip liner, this is the kind of formula that I would recommend and trust for the holiday season. So you will be getting these two things along with those uh with the lip liner i chose these four lip pouts now obviously you guys know that i have my own here's one that i have been using this one is in the color the one but i ended up swatching all of these for you guys on here so obviously these are all brand new so you're getting four different shades these are beautiful my personal preference of using these is to put it at the end on top of a lip product it's moisturizing enough, but it doesn't change the color of my lip product. And I'm not putting on a lip gloss where it's gonna be way too shiny and then it, my lip product moves all over the place. It just gives enough moisture where my lips don't look dry and shiny, but it's not like I ate something greasy and I have to babysit my lip product. So I wanted to give gift four shades to whoever wins. On Again, which is this shade right here. Um, forever ever this is one of my favorites I actually use this in a video with you guys I think the Wednesday video um, at first sight which I thought was a pretty pink and then meet cute which is a nudie pink so you're getting four of those I couldn't do it without gifting these to you guys I went out and found these for you guys <sighs> these are so much fun because there's shades for the holiday season and I thought this would be perfect and I couldn't decide which ones to get for you guys so these are the liquid eyeliners from the Wednesday collection, but there's nothing on here that will show Wednesday. It's just the actual outer packaging. Inside is the actual liquid eyeliner. So you're gonna get the silver one, which I thought would be so cool for like New Year's if you wanted to do something fun. You're getting the uh, purple one that I did use on camera. So purple one will look really nice for like a standout shade if you wanna do that one. You're getting your typical black, which I think would be perfect. You're getting a blue, which is nice again for New Year's or if you're doing like a silver and blue theme or even if you're Jewish and those are your color themes. This would be a beautiful shade for you guys. And then green, obviously green for Christmas. So I thought these shades would be beautiful. So you're getting the whole entire collection. I, I have the whole entire collection. Actually, my daughter took the holiday collection from me. So she's using these all the time, but these are really good. These are really nice. I really like these. So I couldn't decide what shades. So you're getting all of them. I went out and got all of them. All right, you guys just saw me 
unbox this whole entire Merit collection, right? So there's two things that I didn't use in this video solely because I was gifting them to you guys and I wanted to. So you guys, whoever wins this, will also be getting the trial size of the Merit Volumizing Mascara. So this is also gonna go into the giveaway since I've already tried it, I know how it is. You're getting that as well as the pomade. This is a neutral shade, so I'm hoping it goes with anyone. Um, it depends. This isn't like a specific shade. It's a neutral shade, which should go with either dark or light eyebrows. Um, it is a beautiful product, but again, for me, it's just too much, and I don't want to open it up and use it knowing that one of you guys can get it. So you're also going to be getting these out of this whole entire collection here. So I'm putting these in the giveaway as well. And last but not least, I could not do a giveaway without getting gifting one of you guys an eyeshadow palette. So I've been thinking long and hard, who should I purchase an eyeshadow palette from? I have done giveaways where I have gifted Davina Cosmetics, I've gifted Sydney Grace, I have gifted uh, Menagerie. So this year I chose Do Nomad, Nomad Cosmetics. I have uh, trusted Nomad Cosmetics since they first started. Their formula wasn't the best, but it was decent in the beginning and they have only gotten better. So when I, when I placed my order for the Ghost Town palette, I ended up purchasing their newest palette at the time for one of you guys. And I thought it'd be perfect because I didn't wanna pick something too colorful for someone that wasn't going to like it or something too big. It's the time of year where we're traveling and a lot of these products are travel friendly. And that was my whole point is if you're traveling, if you're packing an overnight bag because you're spending the night at a family's house and you just don't wanna bring too much things, I thought this was perfect. So I ended up purchasing the Nomad Air palette. I thought this was beautiful. Now I don't own it. I may or may not have purchased a second one for myself, <laughs> but this is what the palette looks like. And obviously this is what it's in here. I don't want to touch it because whoever's getting it is going to get it brand new. And this palette is perfect. You're getting your neutral shades, but it gives you like that extra oomph when it comes to their shimmery formula. So it's perfect for that. I thought it was perfect travel size. It's for anyone that likes neutral shades. And even if you like colorful shades, you can pick and choose and add your color maybe with one of the eyeliners that you're getting or a, a you know, another palette that you have, you wanna add color to this. I thought this would be perfect for you guys. So you're also going to be getting this. Anything you need to know will be down in the description box of anything that I put on my face. All the whole entire giveaway of what you are winning. Thank you guys so much for supporting me, for being there for me. I can only go from here on up um, now that I am feeling a lot better, more like my bubbly self, back to my bubbly self. I'm excited to show you guys the videos and the input you guys have put in um, when I've asked you guys what you guys wanna see. And I, 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 I can't thank you guys enough. I wish I can give each and every one of you guys a hug because you guys are awesome. So that's all that I have for you guys today. This giveaway will most likely end December 1st because I want whoever wins to be able to get this stuff before the holidays, whatever holiday you celebrate, so you can use it for the holidays. That's what I want. This is my intent for these. So that's all that I have, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching more videos on the dream for your enjoyment. Until then. <laughs>